in the studio, Livingston Santa Clara in the studio. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank God. Nice. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you very much, sir. Nice. Congratulations, TGMA Artist of the Year. Won it twice. Oh, is it safe to say it twice? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you won it twice, yeah. and you, you're seeking to to what uh, set a record. No one has won it three times, has anyone? Not, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. <laughs> do, do you see break? Do you see it break breaking it? It's broken already. It's just that. But how did you come by that statement? Um. It, it it just hit me like the way it, 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 the way it hit Jay Z to tell the Grammys that you know he feels like the wife deserved an album that was <laughs> given previously. You know sometimes when you trust that when you, your instinct is, is you're right, you, you feel it. You know that you know. So what if it doesn't go your way? That's how it is already, anyway. So. <laughs> how do you know? Like you have an intel or something. No, the thing is, um, like I know it's obvious that that night. If it, if it was my my point, if it was another artist, it would have been announced. Oh, really? I believe that if it was another artist, because no other artist was stripped of anything or was uh, so. If it was them, then why would something? that doesn't have anything to do with them affect them. This is my belief. Yeah. I see. Stoneboy is here, folks. We are live on Facebook. We are live on YouTube. We are live on Joy Prime. And so we are live worldwide, everywhere, everywhere. Stoneboy, you are loved. You are loved. Thanks, man. And do you see yourself lucky? Yeah, I see myself blessed. And blessed. When you're blessed, I think you, yes, you, you are lucky as well. You've, you you've, know. you, but you've had some struggles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously. You always struggle same way. You know, it like it goes hand in hand. I think the size of your struggle <laughs> also can reflect on the size of your blessing. So, as of now, you it is safe to say you are successful. In fact, you are successful. We give thanks. You know, is it something you are still battling with as an artist? Like. Success? No, I mean within your art, within your work, is is there something you feel like, Charlie? This thing is still not achieved. I have this. I need to do this. I have to do that, and until I do it, I'm not hanging my mic. Yes, because there's a lot more room for improvement, as far as I'm concerned. Every day gives one an experience in the in the in the in, in the music industry. It's just like rehearsing every time, like you know. DJ Black, for instance, keeps on rehearsing. The last time I visited my home, I was really inspired. Like, for as long as he has been in the game, he's remained top notch. For the VGMAs, using that as an example, when you came on and you played that hip life session, the whole house ramped when he was playing his jam. And then my mind immediately clicked to me how long you guys have been in the game, but still. Creme de la creme. It's a lot of work, so there's more to achieve, and that is how I also feel. Mm. You know? mm. All right. Now I'm looking through a catalog, and I see your work: charity, Hope Center, Salt Autism Center, Save Our Future, Borehole Project. All of these things are not trumpeted loudly. Why is it so? Or you just love to keep your things, you know, hush. Let's go and do it quietly. Um. I don't think it, it's, it's so because um, it's you find out that, like we all know this, I think the, 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 the reason would be that um, positive news really is not like what many people would be like drawn to immediately because it doesn't have that. Um, I would appreciate it if you speak up, please. Oh, sorry. Positive news is not, it doesn't have that concern energy, so... It feels like it. People are not grabbing it. It feels like so, but it definitely, I've realized that it's not. Because to those who it matters to, especially the corporate and the people who are in such, you know, worlds, know, and these are the news that get to them first. 
you know. So it is equally well received. That is how I see it. But I also understand the comparing it to some other news that would just be like escalated over the top. It is not equal to that one. So it's not intentional that we don't want to amplify. That's why we, you know, employ the able hands of um, media to come along with that. And especially the stuff that you have mentioned, the ball, they were there, um, multimedia, everybody was there to support, to amplify it, etc. The hope setters, when we went there to pay a visit and equally, you know, adopt the school, they were there. So I think... How do you choose these projects? I'm asking because autism i mean yes it's yeah. it, it's a worry um i know of um clicks africa uh, the uh, autism center yeah and each time i go there sometimes i i cry because mm-hmm. i've seen beautiful children yeah uh, there was one i even wanted to adopt and i know it's sometimes you see them and you feel like mm. oh my god wait why how do you choose these projects i mean you have you have a, a partner that is into dental care you could have gone into that. However, you branched into autism. Uh, it is still part of the health, you know, care uh, situation. And I, yeah, I, I think even that one goes beyond um, just like treating a particular illness. You know, this one is like that's how they're going to live for the, the, the whole life. So the support base is really very important to be able to give them such you know, care for them to realize their dreams and become, you know, useful, you know, in life. So how I got through that was like we got a lead and I felt like we were interested. So we went through there. And the lead came out of the fact that this guy, ever since he was born, could not speak a word. They say he's nonverbal, but the only name he can pronounce is Stoneboy. The only wow. music in this Stoneboy. He can write, he could write Stoneboy, but not his own name. So he was showing special character um, to the, to Stoneboy, basically, and that is impressive. So I felt like that was a more reason why we felt we would we would, we would we, I, I got into 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 adopting. How was the feeling when you saw him? I was I was lost for words the whole time. I was just like I was just lost for words, and I I, I didn't I couldn't know how to feel. But oh, but but I was really grateful. Like I've always been for the fact that you see the talent that we possess is doesn't belong to us. It belongs to we we you, it comes through us, but it belongs to humanity. So if this is how deep a stone boy talent runs for an autistic child to to live on, then it I I I must sit up. I must be encouraged. Hey, and I must and my and I must be I must be proud of how far I've come, so I can continue. Did he recognize to, you? Yes, he in the within the first period. Say he was he's not expecting. So after some time, when he picked it up, he was happy. Was he shocked? Yeah, 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 seeing yeah, you? Yeah, 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 he was, he was, he was, he was showing it. Wow, know. I see. Okay, then then you did the climate change high school tour, and then the bro, uh, Boho project Western region. Charlie, you 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 are busy. Yes, yeah, so the climate change um, initiative through the high school tour just started. I've been able to do two schools so far. So within the, the year, I'll be doing more. Yeah, How so do you that, pick those schools? Um, there are agencies that we work with, so they actually organize we con- um, in conjunction with them. You know? So you go there, what you, you perform mm-hmm. or you interact with them? <laughs> we interact and perform. And the last two, they, 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 they didn't even give us a chance to really... Interact. They were oh, they, all into they, the performance. They loved the, so whilst I was performing, then I had to take a short time in between the performance to really, you know. I believe that these are things they learn in school already. But when we come and add a little word to it, it makes it, you know, very much. Important. Then you also went to school. Yes, yes, and I'm done. I'm waiting for graduation. And then, <laughs> you know. <laughs> now, how are you doing it online? No, no, no. I was in class. <laughs> ah, is my classmate. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I I had so I was in class. Blah, 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 blah. How's the feeling first day? The first day I didn't know how to because now nah, it would be a, like cool school at check. <laughs> <laughs> so when I got into it, I managed. It's something I I struggled. I struggled to. They, were like, they take, ah, taking glasses, stealing glasses. What? You know, but I'm. That's what is one of the 
proudest thing I will be about myself, believe me. Outside, what, what, outside what was music. it? I, I need that awkward we, moment. We, we are Shama boys, you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying Shama boys who like school. <laughs> but has started hitting the road. You see, I finished um, UPSA and then I hit the road, hit the road. I thought I was not coming back. Then I realized, no, I had to. And I did. And I, it, it, listen, one day I was at home and my wife just said, let's go now to Uber Corner and my register. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it was your wife that registered you? Yeah. So every time I know say I won't go, but I know they find the window at all to even start anything. So I did. I said, oh, so this one, I finished for you. Ba, 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 ba. Ah. You're jumping in from level 200. I'm like, okay, that's inspiring because, of course, ah, because I'm a Kobe Dante. Right. Anyway. And Three years has gone by already. Yesterday, I went to campus to sign up my thing. I've always been to school, but people don't know. You see me? I, mean, I, I, I want that, the loud things. I, I want that awkward, <laughs> that awkward moment in class or in school. One of my mates, our guy, oh, had me too much. They said, Mrs. School, you read a lot of videos in the half. You know, who sent me back. Why? He was always taking Every videos. Time. <laughs> Every time. But it was it's, it's interesting. I love the respect because it was. There are elderly people in the class as well. There Were you some... answering questions? Oh, yes. And getting some wrong? Oh, my school, everybody knows, say, I'll be smart. One of the things they say is like, this guy, wow. But the thing they say, you don't get too much time on his hands. But, mm. of course, we make sure that we are in class. Sometimes I land at the airport and I'm straight to go and write exams. Hey. Yeah, that's how I've managed for the past three years to, you know. Because, how was, how was because it's a combining... Monday to Friday situation. Uh-huh. Combining school and, and work? That's why I say I'm proud of myself. Because it is really, 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 it, it gets to me. Not once, not twice, but I, I'm i really proud of myself. Sometimes I I think I'm as, hey, you go finish. You go as you start, you know, go free drop off, you know. So, and I, I the encouragement from the lectures and the fact that they really say, say no, you, you know, you they try while. So, they're there, you can. Uh, my 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 dean my you know uh, <laughs> if you come and see me for class it's beautiful oh, oh yeah mm. <laughs> so that, yeah they relate to everybody nicely okay. you know so they know if you get the stone boy factor too much so when they won't lose got small make the stone boy factor come and say away <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then be, you you, you, you have manage out you have some classmates that will come and be asking you some questions oh plenty <laughs> say with this street right. you know like and some of the moments that are like many proud moments by the time you go class they'll be like ah you know yesterday you did new york i said oh charlie you know say who for so for that alone i think it also inspired them they see say now nah, you be serious why well, like wait th- there's one other question i want to ask about going to school you you are always with your your bodyguards mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what happened when you were going to school were, okay. you, were you with them okay every time so like you go to it, I say, oh, no, boy, the boy, I tell him, say, Charlie, make I go. You go, go, you, you go, you go. He said, oh. So from the beginning, they go, they, ah, they go, they, they, me, I go, they class. They go, they ah, in the class? Yeah. You go, you go, just steal like that. And, and the lecturers were not complaining? From the beginning, say, you won't really tell. You can't really tell. Hey, whether it's a student or not. Whether it's a student or not. Yeah. I'm trying to imagine if a lecturer will ask a bodyguard, <laughs> yes, you, but, <laughs> uh, Bozu, yeah. continue, uh, yeah. do your job. <laughs> <laughs> and the one we're going to play the uh, all African uh, uh, games. Right. I was writing my uh, mid-semester. That, that day? That, that day. Many things I've done writing. When I was doing the BIM concert, that day I for finished paper. I finished paper the night before and then the next day. You so got to be re- kidding so me. I was rehearsing. At rehearsals, I had my slides. I was reading. Like, I, if you know, I know, say, I get power. I, be, I get multi. I get superpower. <laughs> 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 Believe me. Ah. So that time, at the time, they write now, before they go here for us, I wait, 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 wait. Come, wait, tin, 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 tin. Okay, yes, I like that, madam. Pa, 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 pa. Like, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to I, I I love the fact that I was occupied and say say you know maybe now as I say a month ago no cry I'm I'm about to continue the masters too because oh wow me only say the creative space be a space no I feel like the way I manage multi tax no now they feel the tree sometimes like as in you know pack well like that you know but so Jano give that you you did some donations to widows. Yeah, like every uh, Mother's Day. Father's Day is just around the corner. Then Father's Day is what? On Sunday? 16th. This Sunday. Sunday, Sunday yeah. 
<laughs> M- mommy is no more. Yes, yes, but well, what, 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 what about the widowers? <laughs> what about the, uh, the fathers? The fathers and right? uh, the fathers. You read me, you see, father, our, our, our father movement for the whole world. Yeah. Charlie, buy me somewhere. Charlie, like so, we don't be. So I really want to ask. We, we like, don't really matter. If you are, if Unless I, the bills come in, that be where they see, say, yeah. Fathers, eh, we be conditioned. We our movement will be conditioned. If we don't, but I, I don't mean to. But we all know how it is. That is how I think culturally we all grew up. So my father, thank him so much. I go call him. Himself, say, you know, like those kind of things. But we go call him. We go vibe. And he must have a father. And I know, say, my daughter go come. Kiss, kiss me plenty. And that girl, she she makes her the feel. Say that one alone is enough. And of course, my wife too. You know, so. You know, and fathers say there's no one no. And I also fathers say she she will be. Yeah, so say be big and come up fathers Charlie. Fathers be very nice. She she assistant be famous. Okay, now the TGMAs. Congrats. Thank you. Very much. Amazing night. Your performance, man, man. I I wanted to wait to see your rehearsal that night. Um, the information I had was that you were coming right after my set yeah. um, because I was also producing some of the shows yeah. and they would rush up to me and tell me, Charlie, st- Charlie, time. They st- in time they pass. They know the few. I'm like, really? What's wrong with him? And the guy said, all I tell you is you know the few will. <laughs> Just finish and let him come sure. out. So remember when I met you the next day, I was like, Charlie, ah, no, you, they say you know the few well. Yeah. How come you day here so sure I say, you feel my voice, boss, you my voice? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I was... what, what went into the preparation? Was it was it the difficult task? Um, not difficult because we, we knew what we wanted to do, so we thank God that we were able to achieve it. Uh-huh. Because uh, we were so, we, that, that's what we were supposed to do and the team was ready for her and um, Nana and Chief, everybody was doubling up for me. Uh, because I'd only come out a week out of school, and then I start get some serious flu, which I've, I had like five days to make sure I sound better. So by the fifth day, I was still managing. So that's why when I came to the sound stuff, I had my nose mask. Yeah, I was just managing, you know, so that I can save up energy for the night. And even on the night, I think if you spotted, you could see me having my handkerchief, and I, was, I had to take my medications too. So. I just was like floating on top of what is supposed to be done. Once I knew that we had ticked some boxes, production is tight. I also was there on a Friday to make sure I know my sports and everything. And then the next day, God willing, we jumped into action. And I think preparation made it easier. And then my sound technician guy and every they did they did magic. So I would sit back and say, wow, it came out so. So, so nice, you know, and the response thereof. So, you know, you move with your own sound technician, yeah. I try, I try because it's important, you know, yeah. Well, well about your health, was that the reason when you started you were so cool? Because I mean, when you started, I was yes, like, I wait, stone boy, today, the end. <laughs> I was calm, yeah. So, yeah. Calm. I was enjoying the moment, believe me. I was not, I was just zoned out nicely, I was just floating on the whole situation. First award came in. I went to pick it up, and till I think till the end, I was just, I just managed to get some, you know, energy kicking a little bit, and then yeah. But it was beautiful at night. Bad tune, easy song. Bad tune. Um, my, for me, my proudest moment when you got on that TGM stage uh, when it started, I had chills like oh Charlie, this song, right? And it, it had always been my if I had my favorite on the, yeah, yeah, on, the, on, the on, on the Three Dimension yeah. album. Then uh, a few days ago, I was detailing it to, uh, I think it was Fento. And I was telling him that it started, no, I think I was with Mr. Agla. I was telling him my, my favorite was Manoji. Then it got into the future. Yeah. Um, then nonstop. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, Apoteki was coming in. Mm-hmm. I didn't like that song one bit. <laughs> <laughs> you do, eh? No, my favorite. Oh, your favorite. I never liked it. I don't know if I tell you from the beginning, they say, Charlie, that song, if it hit, it go pain me. <laughs> because I realized it was competing seriously <laughs> with uh, with Into yeah. the Future. All of a sudden, mean. Charlie, here I am, know like, okay. And there are other and favorites, too. Boy. There are other favorites, too, on the album. Like, yeah, the one with Dexter Dab. So I just yeah, played and bad, In bad. Control is one beautiful song that, you know. If you are t- now that the the the, the there are songs out, which one is your favorite? Um, out of the popular ones, no, away from the popular ones. 
um, my sound also is my favorite with Shaggy. Shaggy. And Dexter Dabs. Um, and Life you couldn't shoot money, a video like, for my sound? N- no, not yet. We tried, but a few, you know. Especially even Life and Money, you know. And these are plenty hurdles we all go through, you know. Label, clearance, timing, artist preference, what they want to do. You can't. You know, it's, it's, it's like Which that. Which is very difficult to collaborate and get everything yes, done. Yes, 100%. Very, 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 very difficult. Very, very, very difficult. So Especially how, in these times, going to different different agreement and different timing. Sometimes you're going to release a song and it's on the same day with somebody else because you have a feature with them. You can't drop your song. Your song has to move another day and you may have done all the planning and stuff and sometimes you I try to shoot Storm Life and Money video twice you know it didn't work flew to the UK twice and you could get some you know you just leave it and just move on so these are some of the difficulties behind the scenes now, about collaborations I'm made to believe that when you collaborate with an act especially if it's a big act yeah. and on a record label yeah Almost everything goes to them and the label. They are busily deducting and deducting and deducting. Yet, you keep collaborating. What do you get? No, it's not. that's not the situation with me. Okay. Yeah, I need to be very honest. I am, so far, I've really, we, I think we understand the game so well. We know what sort of contract and agreement we're going to. It can never be the same with somebody else's agreement. You can find a bunch of artists or a lot of artists on one label, whatever label service there is, but believe me, their contractual agreements are different. It might not be the same. That doesn't apply to me at all. Yeah. Mm. I see. It doesn't apply to me. Stone boy, bad boy, mm-hmm. hard guy. But your label will also be <coughs> taking their cuts, oh? Of course. But for what you stated, as if um, when you do any collaboration with any, you know, bigger, other bigger, bigger I- guy, you just get to wheel everything to them. No, 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 no. That's not my case at all. I've not done one thing like that yet. You know, if 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 it has to be that form of agreement, I think when we get there, we, there must be a reason that makes it worthy for us also. Like for instance, we find out that people do. Um, th- there are examples in the industry where you still win because you do that, and then you get all the other proceeds coming to you, and you know, there's always. A win-win somewhere, somehow, even for cases that you might have heard, say, they're giving everything to the artist. There's definitely something that they're going to win at, you know, so. But they keep complaining that they're getting peanuts. Then I don't know who it is. Me, I, I don't know. Hey, <laughs> Me, then, you're, cannot, then you're I really enjoying. I can only speak for myself. I can really only speak for myself. It's never, that's not the situation. You, 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 do you know why I'm asking? Because I'm even looking at your mm. tall list of yeah. features, not with Kerry Hilsey, not with Shaggy, Yo, not with Sean you, Paul, you with Bob Marley. not with Wyclef, not with Bob Marley, not with none, none of my collaborations have me doing, doing not that. And then your your concerts, yet. all these fest- You see, that's what I'm saying, yes, yet. because okay. they can you don't get know. to a certain level where you might have to tap into some of those kind of um, agreements that feel like you're losing, her, but you're really not losing. Her. That's what I'm saying. Even at that level, there must be... Some I'm only speaking from somebody who would understand the game, but somebody who doesn't know there is a lot of exploitation going on as well. Exactly. So Ibiza in Ghana, Black Star Line Festival, Stoneboy Live in Brekum, Night Live with Adult, 24 VGMA Experience, 24 VGMA Experience concert, Fit Dimension album release party, draft day party, the Meisters Express. Tallest. Mm. <laughs> Do you rest? Yes, I'm, I try. Honestly, I get yeah. fine, I do rest. I don't rest too. But sometimes I get worried about you. <laughs> Thank you very much. That means you love me. But who doesn't? I mean, the stone boy. Oh, uh, you cannot be loved by everybody. It's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> Which means you, you enjoy the, the hate too. You can't enjoy hate either, but it's a combination. Negative and positive makes it work. So you have to know how to balance it. If it's, How do you balance it? By staying true to you. Which is very important. But still, people think you are fake. You are yeah, faking it. That's what they think. Like you just stated, they think, and it's rather unfortunate because I'm I'm gonna definitely be a million versions in different people's minds, no matter what it is. So, 
it's unfortunate that whatever version I have in anybody's mind, now you go feed them and bath them every time. <laughs> <laughs> on 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 social media especially, where I know that the world is watching. Yeah. Where affiliates, businesses, brands are watching. And you come under severe attack, especially... I, I mean, I don't need to go so much in, into mm. that. How do you manage them? Do you... Because I, I'm, I'm saying this because I've lost a bigger contract. Mm. Just January. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yes, I was with them in New York and they were telling me this and that is what we're seeing. This and that is what mm. we heard. And so for me, it was nonsense. But hey, I mean, that's them, right? Mm. How do you... How do you manage the situation? Do you knock on their doors privately? Do you go to them privately and tell them that, look, you know what, all these you are seeing, Balderdash, or all these things you are hearing, you know, just throw them away in a bin. How do you manage them? Um, you haven't been specific. That's so what I'm saying. I don't want to get... I said uh, it earlier. I'm actually... Okay, so I just would submit generally. I think, one, social media... There is something called on Twitter agenda. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and it runs through any of the platforms that people can leave a comment. You find out that they can send agenda squad, da, da, da. So we've grown to actually have, you know, teams that would look out, like social media teams and administrators and online spaces who make sure that they clean stuff. So do I also think that there are various means and teams in the corporate offices who also look into things, verifying things before they take decisions, you know, else I think um, a lot of people would have lost so much, you know, so um, this is what I know, that people can also raise allegations, you know, you can get up in the morning and people can tell a lot of preposterous lies. Mm -hmm. So imagine they tell those lies and those lies take effect without any thorough investigation by whatever corporate dealings that you have, by whatever entities that you work with, then I think it won't be fair. So people really do do due diligence before they take decisions as far as I'm concerned. If they're a serious company or there are people who really value the relationships they have in terms of work, you know, so it just goes a long way. But if there's no iota of truth eventually, I think that they should be able to. But one thing I also know is that people find it difficult to now apologize or even use the same energy to trumpet an agenda when the truth comes out. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. And that's, if, that's one thing we should also encourage because sometimes the social media space, I think it's filled with so much information that for you to find the truth, you have to really present facts, you know, so... Do you get affected? No, it doesn't affect me. You see, the thing is, it wouldn't affect me if there's no truth in it. Eventually, after, for instance, these companies that we have work to do, check it properly and realize that this is just a fluke. Then it becomes something else. Because irrespective, people will speak about you, people will talk about you, and that's why you are, you know, you are, that's why you are who you are. So for me, you can see I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to God that whatever allegations or whatever stuff that would be, people wonder, ah, but this is what it is. This is what they say it is. And the guy is still here and the guy is still there. Then I sit at home and I laugh because you don't, you, you don't know anything at all about what, what you think it is. Like you've probably just bought an online, you know, uh, you've bought into an online uh, opinion. And so you think that will take effect on the ground. It's not, because that's not the fact, that's not the truth. That's why I'm like, I always for the truth. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. Okay. Allegations, allegations, allegations. Me, for me, I mean, we, we've all suffered it some way, somehow. <laughs> mm, yeah. De definitely, they, they will come. Yeah, yeah, uh, for sure. me, I'm, I'm an example. Sure. And I've, I've had my part. Um, the TGMA night can promise congratulated you afterwards yeah uh, have you seen it i i saw it did I you respond it. no no i didn't respond why no i didn't think to respond i i just saw it there's so many people have not responded to congratulatory messages so i think it's in that basket 
believe me. And there's nothing attached to that at all. It's, it's nice to congratulate people when, you know, they they win. When you think you feel like, I'm not that petty. It doesn't have, you know, truly, truly speaking. Yeah. But a, a, a lot of people think that you, th there is some bad blood and that was why you didn't respond. How no, 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 no. I, I please beg that we shouldn't take it that far. If there's no bad blood. I can never, ever be seen. It cannot be like that, that I can promise have anything. No, 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 no. Is he your please, friend? Please, please. Like, there's no... Kim Promise is one of our junior brothers in the industry. Believe me. When he did Hey Sexy, I remember I was traveling out of town and I had to still pass there and shoot the video for him. I do not believe I have any problem with my brother personally. I do not believe so at all. That's what I can state. And you know, like, people call you, your own friends sometimes will call you, miss them a few times. Sometimes, like, but there's no, no, no. I, we, we don't play. It's not like, so I don't want anybody to to start to create anything. I, if anybody chooses to create anything, then they'll deal with it the way it is. <laughs> but I can't get involved, like 100%. I can't get involved. Mm. Listeners, it gets just you know, you're listening to Hits 103.9 FM. It's Stoneboy, TGMA, uh, Artist of the Year. He's my special guest in the studio. Uh, we're also live on Facebook at Hits 103.9 FM. We're also live on Joy Prime. Uh, Prime Morning, we're streaming live also on YouTube. Uh, Kwame, please, if you can come into our... Uh, Thank you very I much, you, to, you guys to finish before I continue um, with, with my chat. Let me, let me start by saying I admire the growth of your journey from when you started to now. And uh, also try to commend you for something that I've noticed about your brand. So about two years ago, I remember you were outside of the country you were on a tour and then you tweeted something about the fact that the media down here wasn't trumpeting your works i mean your activities during the tour so some of us went on social media and we're like oh no but i think pr is very necessary in some of these things i was one of the people that was very much lambasted on social media by your fans fast forward now i see there is an improvement in your PR. Tremendous improvement, I must say. Now you are there and you receive a PR kit from your team. Stoneboy performing here, Stoneboy releases this and that. Quite recently, after TGMA, I received a press material from your team mm -hmm. detailing a breakdown of your performance. I was like, wow. Tell no be small. Wow. So I kept asking myself, what has inspired this improvement, if you can tell us? Thank you. Um, to start with, I think um, it was a fan who tweeted that, you know, they, 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 they replied to one of my, my Snapchat stories and said, you know, I mentioned why he feel like Ghana no de boom. Yes, yes, I that, remember. That was yeah, it. True. So yeah. I quoted it and then yeah. I actually asked it in a question form that, do you second the fact that he says my works are not being amplified enough? That is it. Yeah. So it's not like mm -hmm. a plan that goes sit down and say, ga, 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 ga. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, say, I know be that. Uh, you know, reach there for me yet. Okay. <laughs> Where I go, start that vibe. Because thinking through it, we always knew that there's, we always knew the solution we, we always were, we always think about what the solution can be. So the improvement has been that we had to pay attention to the grounds and pump a little bit more resources in making sure that that is also flowing. And I'm great, and I'm thankful that um, it has been appreciated. You know, yeah. So now that we know that is what it is, I just urge all of my brothers and sisters, Ghanaian artists, that yeah. find ways and means to make sure that it comes to the doorsteps. Off. You know, sometimes there's only a little feeling that makes it feel like, okay, if maybe let's say a foreigner does something, it's picked upon and yeah. it's amplified yeah. without any such extensive PR works, you know, but how how about own your own artist? That is where the comparison stays, where exactly. we feel like if you're doing the same for a foreigner that you don't know already, you just pick it up on their, uh, from their portals. You may as well just pick it up from ours, but we've come to realize that that's not how our people, especially the media, would love it. Because they feel like when you bring it to them, then it's more, you know, 
Okay, I have one more question. I don't know if Andy will go there, but it's been one of the things that people have been asking. Why did you not perform at the Salah Fest in April at Abeka? <laughs> okay, but I performed in, at the Salah Fest in Nima. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. So the original plan was I wrapped up whatever I was doing abroad and rushing because... I felt like it's been eight years since I hadn't done any. I stand to be corrected. If four or eight. Okay. Since I hadn't done any Salah situation. So, um, I was direct. Di- First of all, are you a Muslim? Or no, 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 no. I'm a Christian. Um, the teams were speaking. So, Chief, the grounds team, and... One Cedric were having conversations. So, they, you know, they'll deal with all these and then find time to bring it to my desk because they know I'm also doing a lot of things personally and stuff. So when it came to our desk, I knew that, okay, fine, there's work to do. But the proceedings didn't go well. You see? So we had to disengage. And so it was brought to my all right, that is what it is. We know how we operate. So I might as well just do which one that is. So I ended up at the Nima one and then that was it for me. Because I interviewed Baba yeah. Sadiq and he said your manager had called to tell him that you, that you were not there because of Wally's presence at, at the same show. That's very preposterous too. You see? That's very, 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 very preposterous too. And I think these are the things that has led us where we are going. Um, I actually saw an interview where he confirmed it, say, saying that it is my. Is is don't I don't want to go into it too much, but the truth is going to be revealed any any time soon properly. We disengaged because he went ahead to post the flyers where we're not supposed to be advertised internally. We're not supposed to be advertised for these events we're not paid. It's not a paid event. Even if it was, we have our modus operandi where we need that. Okay, these are charity shows that I've left Yankee and come and I really want to do. We have label situations going on that we have mm. different ways. So these are charity shows, basically free shows. So the plan was no, not to be um, advertised. advertised. So why then did I do Nima? Nobody saw any ad- proper advertisement. So they were in contact. By the time they would even finish for me to hear it, Baba Sadiq has gone ahead to post a flyer. He even posted a wrong flyer because of, I think maybe, I don't know what his plans were, which is confirmed. We have screenshots by Cedric, who was really, um, he was um, disappointed. At, oh, why would his boss even do that? We have evidence to that. So that was what broke us and we couldn't go. And we communicated that to you, Chief Community. I was not in that space, but I'm answering for. (laughs) So that was communicated. That's it. That we can't make it anymore. If we had ill intentions, we would have gone ahead to say, of course, at least for nothing at all, you know, the team is getting formidable every day. We would say, oh, ba 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 we cannot make it for Nima. No, 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 no. When we thought about it, I'm like, nah. I pushed it away. Let's not make it seem like it's we know we can't go anymore but leave it so that the show flows then after maybe if somebody asks you can also say oh, i was sick i was not feeling well it's light else you're going to be disrupting somebody else's show to be like i'm not gonna be there you know the regular so anybody who's going there in expectation of stone boy shouldn't be there we didn't do none of those this tells you that we have great intentions at least we need, we still believe that we're good so we wouldn't do that. It's only unfortunate that that didn't happen. You can see you you are in tune. You see a lot of shows that people are billed, they're paid, they buy a ticket, and last minute they are called off. So in this industry, for people not to show up and perform, it's not really like it's too much of a big deal, you know, except maybe the reasons are not really firm. But who, who are you to just say, these are the reasons. We couldn't engage anymore. And then a few days after... He goes on to advertise Chatawali. That is his event. It's normal. That is all that there was. 
that's it. And then the insult of my life, I was and then the insult of my life came through. I took that as normal because even unprovoked is going on. How much more <laughs> he feels like he has a reason. Then my disappointment will be that, okay, after some few days, we've kept mute. I think the insult went so far. I got calls from even my father, etc. Like, oh, you know, you, we all saw the response that was given to him because now, nah, why would you even go this far? You know, based on what he said, Baba Sadiq told. So by that period, it is wise to lay low. Now, confirming that Baba Sadiq really actually said that by what he said on Joy and said, yes, it was Steve. Then we're like, bro, what levels of lies are these? Like, what this, this is, this, this lies are too much to, to contain. But what? You just chill. And that's how we've chilled the whole time. Nobody can tell me that they've seen a reply from any of my people concerning all that misappropriation and that attack of character till this morning. That was all that happened. So whatever the plan was or is, only him can answer and tell us what his plans were or are till today. And any person listening who has been can check, look at it. That is as simple as this is what happened. Done. In, in, your, <laughs> in, your, in your times of, of hearing things that are, just as you mentioned, misappropriations, that makes you angry or something that's supposed to uh, what was the right word? Trigger you. Oh, okay. All, all the, mm. all the adjectives. <laughs> what, what, what calms you? Yeah, you have to think through it, you know, a lot of times because some people will just pick their phones and go on TikTok, and go on Facebook, and go on IG and spew it out. But I'm used to containing it, you know, and leaving it for the end result. Sometimes, you know, look at how simple I've narrated this story, and look at them. The, the, the mounting that was made out of it to even disrespect my character so much for nothing. You know? So you just it just shows me what, pe what, what, what types and kinds of people I'm dealing with in this life. Because me, I'm living life. I'm not just here to sing music. I put it all together collectively as life. You know? Um, but if I can go ahead to state... At this point where all the insult had gone in and he has come to confirm, you know, it was asked right there on Joy, I watched, and he said, you could have issued a disclaimer to just detach yourself from the fact that, um, you know, all the insults, blah, blah, blah. None of that was done. And when he was pushed or asked, he, you could see he... he, he he, he could see, he could hear the way he was going about it as if I'd done him some evil, you know. But then, that's the most. I mean, I just watch it and I, and I confirm and I'm glad that their deeds are showing. Because it's as simple as even when he was going about tweeting different things to fans or replying to fans, telling lies about who finances me, telling lies about um, he putting money directly in my pocket. How many times put money directly in my pocket? Whilst you're, whilst, whilst you're owing me, literally. It's on this same platform that Bulldog was pushing that he owes you. And I, I've, I just be like, oh, how, I wondered how he even knew. So to be seeing these things and uh, going ahead and all of that, I'm like, no, this is too much. So guess one beautiful thing I did? I picked the phone. And I rang my sister. We have a relate, we vibe from you, time to your time. Your sister has in Hold on, I'm coming. Right. So I rang her because we vibe. She, hey, hi, I have some work, blah, blah, blah. Look, everything I'm saying, I can show evidence. It's not like you come and talk and I can show evidence and everything. So I call her and say, oh, sis, this, that, 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 that. But I don't know what I've really done to your husband. Oh, okay. It says, I get oh, it. unapologetically, I'm the one you should call about these things. And I appreciate the fact that 
you re I say, yeah, I'm, I'm actually really sorry, but you know, I don't, but where the things are going, I'm confused also. Because if I had bad intentions, I would have actually, from the beginning, said, I don't want to be a part of this show. I didn't do none of those. I just wanted to see you go. I've, con I've, I've collaborated with you, done a lot of things. My Gidigba video was premiered in three music premiere. Like, bro, I've only given you respect and nothing else. So for the all of a sudden, the turn and switch and these lies that are going to my character and the level of insults that I was insulted, the only respectful thing I was expecting was for you to actually disclaim that, oh, you didn't give him the platform to do that. But you came on TV and you said, oh, you were there. When he was in, da, 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 da. and then, oh, you laughed, and you giggled, and you blah, 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 blah. Come on, man. So that alone just after, after weeks, now it's confirmed proper that this is where you stand. So your wife was like, oh, I should take heart. I should take out. I should. I'm like, no, it's cool. Me, I'm not the type that will go on social media and I can't do that. This is most respectful. Some of you speak to my wife. True or false? Some of you speak to me. Like, hey, hey, exactly. <laughs> I woke up earlier at 3 a.m. She and, has and sent this me. This is somebody a I grew up with. This is somebody I grew up with for friend. years. And he, he even stated that to oh, my wife. Ah, uh, but madam, madam is my friend. We grew up together. So that's it. Then more tweets kept going on and going on, and then now the big one. Jesus Christ, I'm like, really? Call to disrespect your wife. I call to da -da 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 -da. none of those ones because I have evidence again about that, like this, nothing like that. <clears throat> then I call him and say, Bro, I spoke to your wife. Did he tell you? The way you are going about these things, I don't know what you want, but I've not done you any wrong. But one thing is that don't see me in town and do like, say, me and you, you are cool with me. Please keep the same energy. Finish. Oh, okay. So in answering your question of how I deal with these things, I find the best ways to deal with them. And these are the approaches I picked and shooshed till today. What has anybody heard about anything? Should I rather go online and insult? Or should I fall for the normal antics and stretch it. No. These are the premises I used. So my legal team actually picked on the defamatory one, the one that was accusing me. I can't even use my mouth to say it's there. It's on Twitter. He wrote it, applying to a certain fan. It's disturbing to get to levels like this where everything is just attacking you, blah, blah, blah. I woke up the other day in addition to going to do my show in Legon. By the time I get off stage, I'm going home. I check my phone. I have cancelled another show <laughs> so i'm like okay fine it's all right that is just to show you that the wings i mean i know i'm, I'm detailing i would have not but let's just call a spade a spade and go home because i'm not going to say this anywhere again so for the defamatory one immediately he was saved he rushed to the police station to go and report that i have threatened him an opinionated guy like him has been threatened a week ago two weeks ago he didn't mention He's done all the interviews and was not quick to say that after threatening him. After when the lawsuit hit, speed. So this right from here, I'm going to the police station to tender my and go home because we are law-abiding citizens. This is where it ends, and I believe that for anybody who wants to know, however, who has heard, has gone far and near, my godfathers have called, my dad, I'm sure my mom has even called me self and spoken to me in my dream about all these ones. I don't seek to speak on it any longer. We will deal with it where it has gotten to so that we get the truth. And that's it. But I can state authoritatively that all the claims that are made towards me are preposterous lies. If I had my way, I will play evidences here, show evidences here, and go and sleep. I wish I wouldn't, you, you know, of, of all the discussions, I had, I've not touched on these things yeah, because yeah, but, but I because, decided. Because, yes, I respect that because he asked and I didn't, I was not going to go there, but he's asked. Sometimes when you play it nicely too much, then it begin, people still, you know, I know the settings we're living in. I'm, I'm sorry to come to that level to throw it in all in. And I know that there are 
reasonable listeners. I say again, I hate to explain because who loves you loves you. <clears throat> you see, people who love you so much, when, for instance, they hear anything or anything happens to you, they sob, they pray. They pray that it's not the case. And when you're winning, they are even happier. Those who don't like you, you go explain tire. Mm. That's why I hardly come out to explain. I, 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 but for the purposes of some discussions and all of that, this is it. I'm the, the, the reason I said I, I decided not to touch on <clears throat> these things is because there are follow-up questions. Do you understand what I'm saying? And with what he said, I'm forced to ask further questions. One. You, did you sue because of... I, I want you to be um, emphatic on what, what what you said. Did you sue because of the defamation? Of course. That was because of the defamation? Of course. There, there are several... My, my legal team actually took it on. Okay. By themselves. Okay. These are young there, guys who know... There are, there are several on. defamations, and you've not taken any action. Which one? Oh, like um, all of these trolls, especially... Um, just as you said, there are things you, you cannot easily say. I mean, I'm, I'm wiser enough not to, um, yeah, but, you know, touch on them. But, Yet, you, you were quiet about it. Like, okay. No, I, I, I believe. Is it because the be, person, whoever is typical of doing that, is that the reason? And there is another another legal team who could even take up actions without you taking a step further. Or just be, fold your arms and watch them do their job. Listen. You don't you don't bark at every dog barking at you. You don't tend to throw stones at every dog barking at you. But some dogs you have to you know deal with. We started by is it because that those dogs you think are weaker? No 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 no. We started by saying how reputations you know started an interview by corporate etc. There are some that you cannot leave out because of who's saying it, because of the kind of agenda that is behind it. Because from all the, the stuff that I've said today, listen to it clearly and look at the build-up. It definitely tells you that there is a bigger plan to their antics, however. But I can only stand and state my truth. This is as simple as that, you know. So you wouldn't be able to follow every, like I said, you can't just be following just everybody. On Twitter, people will be doing too much, so much. But if you do go and reply to somebody or some way, just like the way I replied to the guy who said that, then it yeah. becomes, exactly. So this is supposed to be taken seriously and cleaned. Do you get what I'm saying? I implore you to pick up the tweet and read. Then you can understand the level it is at. Therefore, the need to clean up a very honorable brand as Stoneboy. That's just very... Adam. Huh, interesting. I mean, I'm soaked in the conversation. <laughs> in some of these, I, I, I have some some of the, like you're saying, some of the facts. I've gone behind, so I, I know what is really going on. And You didn't I mean, tell us. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> I knew we would get here. I mean, legal aspects and other things, so... I just wanted to wait and watch what was going on. And I, I, I was also feeling like you are asking how he reacts to some of these things. Because when I also got to realize the fact, I was like, hey, and Stone is that quiet about it. But, I mean, it's, it's part of the game. Some of these things happen. You have to grow now. Yeah. You have to be managing. Of stuff. course. I want to take you this way. But we're still celebrating the win. Of course, yeah. So, so, so now, yeah. I'm taking you this way. There's been a lot of conversation about your performance at the just and the yeah. TGMA. A lot of, I mean, votarians uh, have mm. expressed their appreciation to how you were really, I mean, spotlighting the culture. I want you, as you're here, break it down for us. Yeah. What went into the performance and what did you do on the stage on that day? On the stage, I performed. <laughs> <laughs> take, take us through like this is a breakdown I perform um, yeah I interestingly the team my team feels like there's something that's going on like we're all aligned so much so that this actual performance came off like we're doing this we're doing that we're doing that and it was just like straightforward we didn't have to dig too much it's just like because we worked on the last um, um, BIM festival and it was like a lengthy one, so how huge that one was. This one was like, okay, just 10 minutes there. We'll just find a way to cut a few things short. And then 
So the, um, the team went to put into production and then we came out to say, okay, this is how we're entering. You know, it's based off of the track list. So if we're opening with this song, how do we do this, that, and then we shared the idea. And interestingly, it was just the same ideas that we all had. But da, 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 it's something that should tell you to, you know, represent culturally and then come in. But then we went, we went wide, you know, by actually bringing the Chagbe core, which is like warrior dance intro from the women, and then the, the man coming in, the old man coming in to say some adage. The chance. If a child knows how to, you know, and wash their hand where they eat with elders, the, the, the child that stays with the mom is the one that enjoys the meals, you know, etc. These are adages I wanted to deep into the, into, 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 into the grassroots. Like, you know, I think he's a professor and yeah. most of our performances are how the school of performing arts. Oh, wow. I said it before, I mean, from the time. Been yeah, crazy. right from three concerts ago, or four. I, I think I went to them the first time on the Global Citizen stage. Then I said, no, we need to amplify the arts from those who are studying the arts as well. So I've always involved them. That's how come you have, you, you, you sort of like have this level of, in quotes, perfection. Yeah. But I know there's more room for improvement. There's more work to be done, you know. And then technically for the sound as well, I was intentional about it. I knew I had to bring on you know, my own guy who would also, who understands me because, you know, the production team is working for a few more artists. Therefore, you have to specialize on yours and know how you want to go about it. So it all came through well, especially that day when I was not having the best of, yeah. you know, I was I had some flu, so it'll affect. Mm. But I've always said something interesting and said, me, the, the place the flu rich, it could be auto-tuned. <laughs> you know? So... <laughs> It really actually worked. It became like some audio tune for me. And, but these are the inputs. I brought in production. I brought in technical sound to aid the thing. And shout outs to the dancers as well. And we're grateful that the little piece that we churned out is really very meaningful. And we're hoping to do more and infuse more Ghanaian cultural um, you know, content in the contemporary because this is where we are from. This is how that's how best I believe I want to continue to represent Ghana. You know, the least you see is a Ghana flag on me anywhere I go. And on that night, you saw it. I still showed Ghana flag in Ghana. <laughs> it doesn't have to be just outside Ghana, though. Yeah. So I think that I'm intentional about. Now, beam next generation. Yeah. I've heard you talk about it, but I want to understand it properly. Today is about breakdown. Yeah. What is the beam next? <laughs> Today is about breakdown. breakdown. I like <laughs> yeah. that breakdown. Yeah. breakdown. That, that's why I think I broke it down, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. I've broken it down. So, beam uh, next generation. Beam next generation has been on my heart for a very long time, owing to the inspiration that I've always gathered from um, listening to reggae music, dance music, and the camps that they've always formed. When you take a camp like Alliance, or um, the the uh, okay the, the name before Alliance I've forgotten something camp, you know owned by Bone Tequila, you know, they is a camp that actually like he leads it with his influence without hard is coming the game just to give the guys the younger ones opportunities, and yesterday was his birthday, and if you saw the amount of yeah, yeah, yeah. messages that came up and all of that, I realized that yes it tallies with my dream and what I even though I'm in Ghana. I felt I've been inspired by that movement whereby you create an opportunity and create platforms that will continuously showcase talent. And I think I've done this the whole time from, from a long, any stage I climb, I bring somebody. I even, any stage you can, it's I'm there, you can see. Bounty Cloud Jones, Bounty Killer. Yes. Beam Next Generation. Of course. <laughs> you see, so that's the inspiration behind and I think I'm called for that because it's not everybody who can stand to see other people shine as for that one it's very true you know but for me I've done it before produced two two, um, two, pe two guys you guys know already yeah. put them on proper get them a stand and it's, it's very very commendable you know and I have definitely done stuff behind the scenes for a lot of artists so this time I've I believe that now that school is downside a little bit Although I'm going to continue, you know, I'm finding time to push the next level, which is the Beam Nation, next generation. I'm so happy about it. So it's just... How many people are we looking at? We're looking at um, some number of people. They come and go or they're in the camp. Like Once academy. you can... Here yeah, you can... Yes, just you like can, an academy. Yes, you can affiliate directly or indirectly. This is the same meditation that 
say birth high grade family, you know, because that's the same meditation I, I, I had. So once upon a time, I can remember in that Sumanva conversation, it came about and the high grade family was birthed and came back to Beam Nation. So you see. Are you going to pick the cream, the cream of the crop? Um, out, of, out of the academy, you're going to find one special kid and say, yo, I think this is the um, guy. Okay, what I think is for that, for my own, it's not like you're coming to be camped and then now we pick one. Anybody that comes in is a potential. So it's like an <laughs> enabler. Yeah, it's like it's a platform. You come, okay, there's definitely going to be agreements to the fact that you're just like you're doing, lab, you're doing label services, you're grooming, you're mentoring, and you're giving them opportunities. This is the four main aspects, you know. I think and this is what some young guys need. And it's a sacrificial journey, you know, because you're going to put resources, you're going to deal with a lot of perceptions, you're going to deal with, and I think I don't mind. I still want to make sure that I see that vision of making sure my platform births like, imagine the next, if we can point to maybe, let's say, 10, 20 artists over a, a period of time, and all of them are saying we came through the, you know, Beam the, the, the BNNG, it's beautiful. And it's going to outlast even me, and if it's well run, it's going to continue to be a hub to help people. Because I do that all the time. One guy from um, behind Kumasi, he came, yeah. I, give, I just be giving them platforms. I just be making sure they're seen and they're happy. You know what I'm saying? So that's the motive behind Beam Nation Next Generation. Mm. Okay, let me read some comments quickly. <clears throat> uh, I haven't read any comments in the report before I get to you. They, they, they say the deputy artist of the year. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, that's a record set. Yeah, I, man. I, first time <laughs> in a while in 25 years, we have deputy. I just said, yes, that means. Sri Lanka GH. What do you just say? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Replica. Straight up. Sri Lanka GH says, Stoneboy's show was cancelled at the same Lehman Hall last year due to the same issue Shatter had this year, but he never blamed anyone. Is that true? That yeah. your show was uh, That Lehman show was supposed to be played last year. You see. Oh. Yeah, so. For whatever reason, just I think two days to the show or something, we realized that they said, ah, okay, no problem. Even me, I did travel already, so it helped me. I managed to go do my thing. Did you refund your money? No, no, no. It has been. That's how come we did what okay. the one exactly. So we had a pending situation with them already. You okay. know, and of course, I'm I'm always available. It's not really, it's not everything I shout about. God knows those who know from within know I support these guys wholeheartedly. Interestingly, if I was really a bad person, yeah, the guy who put together that show is Nana Dope. Right. Yeah. And the history tells us he he would team up yeah. with Shata to their videos to sort of like want to mock Stoneboy, etc. This is who I be. I, I, I'm, I, I'm honest enough. I don't take things to ask Nana Dope if he had actually come to apologize. I think we, somewhere, he met me somewhere in time. He wanted to, I said, Fio, they would. Yeah. So that's how it ended. That's all. That's all. So I wouldn't. Would I have gone on stage? Would I? Would I have wanted to deal with somebody like that? I wouldn't. So, bro, no weapon for me. <laughs> believe me, believe me. For me, I try to be. Is there an idea? Cancel, cancel shows. Somebody say even before you watch someone send me say Charlie, I hear somebody has cancelled your show. <laughs> <laughs> they say they can't cancel, cancel shows the, right now. The power day, but you know, be under the abuse. You don't feel too power. I know yeah, they, I know they abuse power. the power. Uh, you be like a coach on board, damn. You know, they shock that coach on board. <laughs> Just they distribute power nicely. You know, right, right. <laughs> Sky Kid has a says, Please ask Tombo if a song not again is as a result of a broken heart. He got you, are, yes, so yes, so. Someone broke your heart. Yes, of course. Shall no. I be like the broke your heart? Everybody go jump oh, on. It go reach everybody. It don't be my own song. <laughs> but but nah, no, not no, be my own song. I don't know the death of your own. <laughs> but your own must be deeper than our own. Charlie. Really senior man. Senior man get the most. <laughs> 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 not again. It was. Your pretty face now go hold me down no more. Not, not again. again. I gave it all but you dropped it on the floor. Not again. Not again. Me now go in this no more. Not again. No, no, no. Go in this no more. Every man want a girl from firing. Yeah, that's what right. I want. Who she a power? Too broken heart. Hey, yeah, that's long right. time. It was. It was. It was my girl. Be way that time. You know, that girl said in the near dindodo. 
Uh, yeah, it's okay. She left you. <laughs> <laughs> but what did you do wrongly? Oh, I didn't do anything wrong. Go. Oh, if it's situation, situation, so I don't know. It will be a pray. It will be pray. will be train. In terms of my really. Obi J. Right now, Marini. right now, Camido to Zoo, Camido to get broken heart. He go mend. He go reach everybody. He go mend. <laughs> he go mend. He go mend. <laughs> so they make it, they make serious. You see, say that one way I, I make serious, I write some tune. You know, that's how you feel. It's good to churn out what you feel because uh, the music, it speaks about, you know, be easy. Speaking, of, chai chai. speaking of Camido, you're, you seem to have a very good relationship with him. I love that guy. Yo. Yeah, no homo. He's one of the guys who we talk quite often. You go there, you go see your, you know, message on Snap. Hey, Baba, Alpha. I say, hey, my guy, I'm rooting for you. Me, I told him, like, listen, next year, BGM is there. Me, contend out. You for day there, at this other year. And he say, yeah, I like, yeah. So, I love, I love his mentality. Believe me, he's one of the people that I really respect. You In know, this industry, wow. who, who, who can we say is Tomboy's friend? Aha, uh -huh, that's where that's in there. <laughs> <laughs> Me, myself, sometimes I think I'm. But the grass is always greener on the other side. So it go deceive you small. Because you see a few people parrying, bo, 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 hey, da, hey, da, and uh, you, you're like, oh, you are alone in their house. If you know their house, you the travel. Me you and your cool click. Yeah, no, but it's like that. I believe that we all go grow and we'll get to points where, you know, and I only pray that we all have, it's better to be alone than to have friends that you know say so is it is to say that in times of trouble mm. there's no one to call oh it's really so in normal life you know most often those who come to our aid are total strangers you know because they feel our story and they want to come to our aid i don't believe that for instance just an example the guy begging on the street you know doesn't have family but the strangers on the roadside who say oh it is a baby but yeah, so that's mm -hmm. his life. Uh, Gift of Mind says, I love the dexterity and the maturity in his conversation, but in succinct, he should tell us his vivid explanation to. But I did it before. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> uh, to his recent show in Legon and asked him this those purported harsh comments that he experienced them in real street. Does he experience them in real street or just social media? Okay, I think we we spoken about that. Uh, Paul Mensah good says, Tomboy is Ghana's Bob Marley, period. Taras Ajumai says, Andy, can he ask Tomboy? Number one, how does he respond to claims of arrogance? And is there a side of him that fans don't often see? Number two, should I ask both of them or one? Yeah, yeah I, however. <laughs> Number two, what advice would he give to up-and-coming artists who look up to him as a role model? These are two questions. Thank you. Um, I think you can only stay true to yourself. I am somebody who is very firm. I'm a firm person. I believe so. Very humble as well, very respectful as well. I believe that, you know, that's the way to go. And even myself, you know, you know that sometimes um, the positive things they say about you, we all know, say, you don't hear. But the negative things you will hear. It doesn't mean that, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, I, I, there's always two sides to the coin. I'm not a timid guy. I'm not somebody you can take for a ride easily. Mm. You know, I think that is where the thing is. Because I couldn't be me if I'm not called Livingstone. Because the way we are suffering in this life, I've suffered and I've come here. You know, you've had to be strong. So there's no other side that is not unnecessary for anybody. There's always two sides to a coin. And there's no secret life. <laughs> I, I just have to be straight. Because people, people hardly know me in person. Because me, I don't do posts. I don't do... I just focus on my work. So... There are people who would insinuate. And especially if, of course, you are an opposition or you're a hater or you're somebody who's very low self-esteem and you attract negative energies fast, you might be thinking to, for me towards those lines. But I can't be responsible for that. But truly and truly, I'm a strong guy. I'm a respectful guy. I don't have any evil secret character <laughs> anywhere. Anywhere. Yes, very... Um, with, oh, Charlie, this is, this is too funny. Um... He says, please tell somewhere I can be a caretaker for his house. Shashu mommy. Because he really the work. You know they sleep for house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kojo Dumpe says, please tell somewhere he should just back the collab with Rihanna. Tell us straight for cross. After that, he should go and leave for months and leave the rest. So we the fans uh, leave the rest for us to handle. All, all, all of I these. What, 
what seems to be slowing these collaborations? We've seen okay. you it's with Ray Cross. Yeah. I mean, this is how close you've come. Yeah. Um, who else? Um, White left. I saw yeah. you even in yeah. his house eating mm. wache. Did you did you take the wache to him? Yeah, me, I eat my Ghana food anywhere. So the wache, you, know, you got it from Papaya or something? Yeah, we organize and we, we say more carry go, more carry go because. Mm. They way me to at the eat, you know, at the eat just one meal when I'm hungry. So I have food for day, no be so I no go eat. Because this is the whole day. I just know it. So it happened that the way we package ourselves, you know. By the time we reach there, he was also about to have dinner. So we just placed it and bang, 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 bang. We chop it off and we wanted to know, you know, it's from Haiti and Haiti, the culture, the African culture, so a lot of conversations were going on. And you remember coming to Ghana once, etc. But these collaborations uh, have been done. The one with Wyclef is definitely done two songs down, done something with um, Rick Ross, two songs down. I'm just being honest. And the ones that are in the Dreamer, in the Pipeline, these are some of, these collaborations I've mentioned so far are some of the biggest that can ever happen, you know. So they're not easy to come by and they're not even easy to just release. And the, the, the actual work is in how far it can be pushed, you see how ready we are to assimilate it, to blow and amplify it. And then there's another part of the work that is behind the scenes, the legal frame, the label stuff, the, you know. So these things tend to delay certain stuff, generally, not only pertaining to my. In my case, for those songs that have been recorded, they are yet to be planned and see how we're going to close things and release them. Overload remix. Exactly. Overload remix is done. That's going to come I've been waiting up. seriously for that. Time. Yeah. The man of believer, Thomas and Judas, head back over in the blood of Jesus, Lucas, where you are the pan, me scubas, to you know no say in a pot, mama cookers, me say me no grief for nobody, me no grief for no na, stand for my business any day, any man, many, many man want to dirty my honor, them na go see al janna, call me and me na pick it up, me not in a them sad be no, ask me arise them deep in below, this Batman and Ada Figaro. Mm. So get ready for that. It's coming. It's coming on the album soon. Because I'm dropping an album this year, same way. So we're hey, tightening uh, ourselves too. So agree with another album. Uh, on that, on that, re, on that <laughs> remix, who and who they talk? We have LaRusso, we have Jamil and Tentic on that remix. And Jamil. we have a few collaborations too. Album I have to look into my phones too. I have uh, with Jordan Sparks too. On oh, wow. Album. Hey. <laughs> Tell about you. Tell about me. Small or up and running. Up and running. We have a, we have some you know Friday on the album too you know. And and you have a new 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 song coming out to, is yeah. it tomorrow, tomorrow or tonight? Friday. Friday. Yeah yeah yeah. Beautiful song produced by my guys in LA. You know. It's a beautiful be, be, before we talk about that song, let me ask you this about what is the meaning of Ekelebi? Ekelebi, you know, my mind. I'm not asking you to sing. I say, what's the meaning? <laughs> <laughs> Ekelebe is actually like a Nigerian term for police, you know, like Ekelebe. Or, yeah, so in, in the song context, it's for nuisance, it's for a hater, it's for an unbeliever, it's for somebody with the border, you know. So that's the, 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 in the context, that's what it means. Yeah. So it means Ekelebe, you know, my mind, so you tell us a guy, mm -hmm. guy, my mind, they for me, I know be your neighbor, check your level. My party here, you go to rush and go bite your finger. Bad man, not chase after going uh, and Tinder. I see. Yeah. So it's just like, you know, one of those songs where you establish some, you know, some talk. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the new song is what? Your body? It's just like the South Korea brag to, you know, you establish some vibe. And the new one is your body. This your body, yeah. Um, it's a beautiful masterpiece, you feel me? Like it goes to actually defy the standards of beauty. I just want to appreciate the woman and say because lately we all with a C standards of beauty, it goes on kind of level way. Almost almost sometimes they look like the same. Mm. Uh, do you have your permission to play that song small? Oh yes, yes, yes. I just want to give you some prelude so people know the no um the the um narrative behind it is that this is the way it is. Your body is the beauty standard, not what they say. That's it. I just want, I want to make my listeners listen to your body. Yeah, well, yeah, after all, it's you, coming out tomorrow. Yeah, so you yeah, get the opportunity first time to stream it. Play, yeah, man. Yeah, Port, certainly. And uh, that, that was the song he introduced during his performance. Yes. And I think that it takes someone who has mastered his craft to introduce a new song in a performance set like that. Very risky. But away from that, I want to um, tell one guy that 
he's giving me more than gold with the acknowledgement he's been doing for me. In fact, the, 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 the social capital I've gained in the right after uh, first of June is crazy and amazing. I had people gifting me. In fact, my stay in Accra, I've not been financed from my coffers after VGME. Wow. I go, people have been extending amazing gestures to me at the mall and every, even from the diaspora. I, I, like I said early on on the show, that I've got certain living bookings in the diaspora because of Stoneboy. And that, I, I appreciate him so much. Social for, capital, for, no be so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I've learned it's social capital. Yeah, 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 hey, boss, you they understand the way go. <laughs> <laughs> social capital. Yes, yeah, so, so I, I'm, I'm much appreciate. Now, what, what I also want to add is that you are moving correctly. There's this perception about your movement and your networking. When you move, then people want to, in the name of agenda, but I want you to prove a point. I see you nearer to the Grammy. Whatever it will take, please don't be perturbed by statements like, oh, oh, I know you are moving and you know the rationale behind every step you take. I mean, rubbish all the open oh, thing and prove a point. What I see that, I mean, you're a candidate for the Grammy, and I know you're moving correctly, and one day you make us proud in connection with that. Amen. Now then, he has to come to Kumasi. There's a lot more Kumasi has to offer. Yeah. To come and um, experience amazing creatives, and there's a lot more we can do in Ashanti region. So please come over, yeah. and with the B Nation group, the one guy, Tony, that your protege over there, amazing dancer, artist over you, she need to experience him, and many others. I'm thinking that he needs to have a beam concert at the we, Baba we, we, He yeah. has to. Yeah, please come. Yeah. To you have. You are loved. You are loved. You in the Stadium, stadium. Yeah. huge. Yes. You are loved. In, um, you are loved. But but um, um, the, the the Grammys well, yesterday was announced that we have yeah. our, our Grammy own Africa. The Grammy Africa. I don't yeah. know yeah. if yeah. you've heard I, about I, it. I watched your. I mean, oh, you I watched your thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank okay, you. Are you zooming into that? Let, let me wrap up real quick. So you zoom into okay. that conversation. Now, one notable thing I've realized, and I know one guy has transitioned to a new face of his brand, and I can see one underlying thing: focus. Unfortunately, that has not really reflected on how his fan base has been moving on this one. And that is something I have said gradually was becoming a minus to his brand. Please, what I want to implore you to do is that, you know, you leaders of the fan base should move from recognizing your fan base to allowing them, especially with there is so much to project, amplify and brag about you that pathetically, anytime you do something remarkable, your fan base tend to rubbish it in the face of other people and put other people's name in the trends instead of you. And that is something they have been very abysmal at doing. Moving on, I want your fan base to re-engineer how because there is a lot more about you to amplify and brag so that irrespective of the derail, whoever comes in to derail their focus, yours and your fan base and their direction just finding the fire. It's just, it's just to project because there's so much to project that the focus should be the new hallmark for your fan base and let them not be derailed. I appreciate what you've done for me. God bless you and then see you win more and more. Thank you. Mm. Thank you very much. I I, that, 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 well, I really appreciate the advice to the fan base too and this doesn't go to just Stone boy fan base you see yeah. that is the trick it has to go for all the fan bases all those had that have had core we are fond of rubbing our successes in the faces of and i think it's really a thing that stays on social media mm -hmm. one man's progress must automatically become another man's mm -hmm. mockery you know which is not the best way right. so i really respect that and i think i do not show any traits and signs of those if not it would have been obvious. There are so many things that I've done remarkably by the grace of God owing to the purpose as a musician right. that I've never seen a need to rub it off or come on social media and insult people or rubbish it in their face that I've done this. You can you do this? You can't you do this? Da, da, da. So at least I will beg that, particularly pertaining to my fan base, like you have advised, they pick the clue from at least me. What do, what uh, do you so that they, you sure. know, you know. So thank you, thank you for the advice. Okay, Kojokin is asking, uh, he says, what was the role of Dr. Louisa in his career? Oh, okay. Okay, it's, a, it's like asking, so, uh, for instance, you know, regular guy, what's the role of the wife in his life? The career is part of my life, and my wife is part of my life, and basically even very, very important to my life equally, like my career. So she plays so much role, you know, she definitely looks after the kids so that sometimes I don't, when I'm beat, when I have to make it this time, the kids are going for uh, um, their hour day. Mm -hmm. My daughter would have wanted me to go and drop them 
but guess what? I had to come to interview. Right. She would double at that. Imagine if she couldn't do that. That means this interview, the career will be affected, although okay. it's a home kind of vibe. So I want to state that she is a very important part to my life as a partner, as a wife. And God bless her for all the effort that she puts in that affects the career positively. We have people whose partners, because of you know issues, it affects. So she plays a 360 role. I don't need to state That's that she's this, she's that. I just mm. thank God for her life. And right. Let, let's end with the, the, with the Grammy a, Africa in a, in a, in a thing. Microsecon. Please, your retirement plan should be politics. You are a fine candidate for politics. <laughs> <laughs> I think it should be your retirement. Whether retirement or in your pieces. Before, or? He, Allah. Should. he should. Allah. He should. He should. He should. He'll be a fine Every candidate. Part. Then my slogan will be Allah. Yes, <laughs> Allah. <laughs> yes, no, no, he'll be a fine candidate. I mean, he's proven himself. Hey, Robert. Robert. Home, so I feel, <laughs> Thank I feel, you very Professor much. Isuda Namba, uh, pro, uh, Reverend Isuda, <laughs> described yeah. him as a music professor. He has so much accolade from respected people yeah, in society. Yeah, yeah. So it's about that time he really considered a political... You go, you go here in the news. Future. Thank God. M- I, I, MP I, I, for a Sherman constituency. I, 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 I feel inside. I feel inside. I feel inside. Transfer him. Transfer him. Transfer him. And we will not go lie. You. Yeah, yeah. Our party will be no lie, no lily. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's, let's end it with the, with the, with, with the Grammy, with the Grammy Africa thing. <laughs> the Grammy Africa... Um, uh, I don't know if you've heard about it. Okay, you said yeah, you I, watched I, it. I watched where, right. where the okay. entire was saying that right. Ghana is not... How does that mean to you? Uh, like I want to state it over so I can understand. She mm. said Ghana is not... Um, signed to the it's not signed to... Parties, a founding members. Please say it so that I understand. So he said uh, we, we, did it, we have not signed to... Mm. The, the MOU are as funding fathers. So we are right. not part of the funding fathers of the so we're not, Africa. Ghana is not funding it. Founding, founding, uh, founding, 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 yeah. founding. Simply, we can't host it, yeah, it can be but, we, but can we can take part. Yeah, we it. can participate, but we can be nominated. We can't host any event with we regards to Ghana. that in Ghana. So I even asked of, of about the for the meantime. Yes, yes, yes. yes, time, yes. yes Man, she yes, said yes. things may change. Yeah. Yes. She didn't state so uh, details to why it there is. There were certain things she couldn't see on exactly. air. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when I asked her about. Whether infrastructure could be the reason, oh, I, I but from that. the look of things, it, it plays a role. I, I I I should believe so, but I don't have such detail. But I once we can be nominated, I think it's a good thing for us. But be, before that, I want to also state that like um, we respect this um, international award platforms just because they've stood the test of time and they've proven to be credible and have received a lot of su- support from their home base so i believe that we also have the gmas and we can and we must have to get it to that level give it that type of respect and support so that it grows and gets bigger as well for us that's one thing i want to chip in so Mm -hmm. as for it being hosted here in ghana i know when they fit the stuff that they have to fit it will also be a problem because ghana is a very pivotal you know um, um, place amongst in Africa and has to be a part of totally this. the highest level of engagement when it comes to the Grammys. So I pray that they do what they got to do so that Ghana really, you know, because the entire self is a Ghanaian. Yeah. So you mm. see, she's playing a top role as a British Ghanaian. No matter what me, she's a Ghanaian. She's representing Ghana for us. So. And she's even consulting for them. Exactly. Right? So you see, that means Ghana is operating at the top level already mm. through a mm. private individual. So we need that to reflect in the, in the thing itself. A lot of comments for you. Unfortunately, I cannot read all of them. Becky, you're our very own. Be- hey. Bex, she says, tell Bobo I want to hug him. <laughs> <laughs> Becky is my good, good friend. I call her SM for life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why? We, we say, oh, no, because I, I just call it, I just tease her with it. SM okay. for life. And that's uh, how George Quay says, hey, George, this is quite lengthy. He said, Minya, I'm filled with immense joy and pride as I extend my heartfelt congratulations to Stoneboy on winning the prestigious 25th yeah, anniversary edition Telesale Ghana Music Awards. Artist of the Year. His talent, dedication, and hard work has truly shown through, and this recognition is very well deserved. Beyond his musical prowess, I'm deeply moved by his humanitarian and philanthropic endeavors. His commitment to making a positive impact on the world sets him apart, and I'm inspired by his generosity and compassion. God bless him for using his platform to spread love and support those in need. His actions speak volumes about the kind of 
pressing the ears. And I'm honored to celebrate his success and the incredible work he's been doing. May his journey be filled with continued success, fulfillment, and endless blessings. Amen. Thank Did you, Uncle God. George. Thank you very much. Countryman Songo says, more fire. Fabulous fire interview. Stone. Fire. Oja. Our party, no. Me and Oja. Oja be that. He go, he go be your party. vice. The way they say, make I go party. <laughs> he go day inside. Oja party. <laughs> fire Ike wins. says, ask him, Papa Chale, we miss a collab with him and his big brother, Samini. We need some climax remix. This week, a, po a post has been spe speculating on socials about their freestyle doing Samini Fest at Osu Expo Street. Is there going to be any remix like that? Uh, there's a possibility for further works, you know. There's a possibility. It's not impossible, of course. Mm. Hello, uh, Auntie Alice. Alice Tope says, the fan base is listening. Hey. Mama Alice, <laughs> you do all. Okay. Big respect. Yeah, man. Charlie, you know Stone can come here and... Uh, you got the brand new one. Though. Stone can come here and... Without, without saying something. I'll without say saying something. Yo, give me this time there. Give me this time there. Let me hear Stone Boy. Hold on, hold on. Let me start. Let me start. Yeah, I'm man. A part one. Yeah, man. <laughs> Stone Good Boy. morning to everybody listening right now. I hope this suits your morning. Watch and you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me send my promise to be loyal because you are royalty to me. It's a choice that I made. Oh, my queen, you appeal to me. Why? Be there for me, and baby, don't you heed it from me. Believe me, I'm falling for you. I love you no stop. I love you, who's I'm a love you no stop. Oh yeah yeah yo, I love you no stop. Yeah yeah, I'm a love you no stop. I love you non stop. I love you non stop now. I got sometimes I put you pampas and you put me pampas too. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I put you pan rewind and you put me pan rewind too. Yeah, yeah. But we never breaking up because it's taking us a million days to be here. Yeah. Let your just strengthen us when times are get serious. Come link pang the king, never afraid. Oh no, no, no. Say be there for me. They up on eat FM now. On a 3.9 means entertainment. I love you non stop. Yeah, you so don't boy. know. You are so smooth, man. Do you sing to your wife? Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> That was a big question. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, sometimes. Wow. She's mostly sometimes in the studio too. Mm. You know, telling of me. Of all oh, head, the busy schedule. Yeah, yeah, I think this is that, this is that. And we share ideas. So music is for the people. So for me, I sometimes even play to random so that I can check what they think. So she's, she's, she's there. Maybe that's when she gets to be sung to. Andy, Andy, Andy. <laughs> Andy, Andy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Andy, so, yeah, yeah. some people think so. But, what, but the one way, the one way, be like, say, you go wake up in the morning and say, baby, I love you, no, no stop. Hey, that would be fun, fool. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun, fool. Ah! Like. Except, say, baby. Oh, if you yeah. need something, you need something. Andy. Hey. Yeah, if you need something, but I never sing to my wife, say, I they take need something. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you need something, what Not do you do? What, 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 what is that? Thing? What, oh, it could be, baby, cook me my favorite food. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> my wife my, I'm is, speaking as my an wife elder. Is I'm that. speaking as an elder. elder. Thank you. Thank you, elderly. <laughs> my wife is my partner. And as adults and the elderly, we have long time agreed for better for worse. <laughs> so you go straight to the point. Back, <laughs> keke goza. Better. Oh, and yes, sir. You said the guy said, "Oh, oh, collect the." That's what I'm speaking as an adult. I'm speaking as an elder. But but the level for side, you see, on record, let me say. I think if it's me, rather way they bomb me more. Fathers Day they come, so let's appreciate the fathers. You know, you know when they go tell you, say you you owe this one, you owe this one, and the thing to be like eighty CDs. This one be real stuff. Yesterday go buy something. I think be eighty. They say, eh, now before thousand be that. I say, ah, 
<laughs> so I be interested in that. Ghana, Ghana, we did. Ghana yeah, so, so for the men, if you rather they get that thing, so maybe they for learn how to sing to us. And I remember my boy, Father's Day, a woman for that they sing to us. Uh, well, sing. And I remember, yeah, the bab. But uh, uh, on, on record, uh, you know, like I, I do a lot of weddings. You are on record. You are the most dominant artist for weddings. You know how to? I don't know how. Everlasting, yeah. inarguably, is the most played. Wedding what? song in the last four years. Yeah. Yes, and and when you um with the oh girl you didn't tell my sister. Yeah, that, you that's didn't a, me yes, again. activate um two day with a lot of so that sector there you did dominate you did rain wow so yeah. that one they constantly be hitting there. More was, love, more love. Yeah, more at love, at love, at love, at love at our, our <laughs> host of the Ghana Ghana, Ghana Niger <laughs> Ganja agenda. He says, boss, hail from hail him for me. He's such a polished artist, uh, you, straight brother. from Nigeria. Yeah. Ah, uh, big up. Andy, big salute up, my yeah. being president for me. I'm watching you and I'm over the moon. This is Gifty Auntie. Hey. Yeah, the queen. Allah, uh, him have a cup. Your party, you have for me. Allah. Allah party. Allah, just say, <laughs> more fire, fire party. Hello, <laughs> Mini says, can you tell somewhere my mom, Vivian Selassie, is watching him now? Sends her regards. She's a big fan, and my wow. son, Kamali, is also a big fan of his works. Thank Soon link him back, though. Me and of Bobo. Course. Of course. Go way, 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 Me way, and way, Bobo way, 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 got way, some way. enough brotherly conversations to hold. Sure. Congrats to him again. He's even bigger than what Ghana even sees. I'm not surprised at any of his winnings now, Thank because I know much. my brother is bigger than the talent he even shares with us now. Beam. Beam. Thank you very Let's much. Let's end it. Let's end it. Too, too many comments, and I hear you have to, yeah. you have another engagement. You have to go see to certain things. But I want to thank you. Yeah. I want to thank you, your manager, Chief. Yeah. Such a respectful and great individual. Um, and your wife. Yeah. I mean, each time she sees me, we have a little fight. Like, no, if right. I come do some check, I time know. no day, me to some, <laughs> waiting to sometimes it's a fault. Sometimes I will call her, man. Oh, uh, so. I don't they like to go to too much school. <laughs> so every day yeah she, so thank her for me so thank you she, 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 she's listening she's listening okay yeah okay. Rama Fatia no Ati no no how do you call her Irama Irama say it's called Irama me too I'm called Kwame so it's a Saturday movement <laughs> yeah Kwame for who Jorof oh Kwame yeah 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 Kwame that's the first time I'm Thank you so much. Uh, Rob Photography says, Charlie, uh, what's Rob saying? He said we should get a lawyer from USA to do it. He sent a very interesting yeah. uh, uh, comment. I, I laughed all through. He says, well, you guys forget lawyers from USA to crash Stoneboy uh, questions on Stoneboy. Your question is he read them in high school. He's very wise. That's why I like him. From photographer uh, Rob. Yeah, Rob, Rob, Rob my, G, my G. Thank you, yeah, guys. Yeah. And I want to thank everybody, too, for the love. I invited a few people to um, the party the other time they came through. And, you know, Akbana Masham, Marona Yira Masham, Novino Mashamana, you know, Bazo Dorajiko, Nanyo Yoga. Akbana Mi. Thank you. This is Pits.